Hey, welcome back to my channel. So thank you again for all of my subscribers. I really do appreciate you. Let me know down in the comment section some things that you'd like me to talk about on this channel. But I'm going to jump right into it today. I'm talking about everybody is not going to be happy for you when you begin to level up in your life and you begin to make choice, different choices than you've done in the past. And I'm gonna start off with family. Sometimes with family, you may think, oh my goodness, this family is very negative and toxic. Why aren't we changing? Why don't people wanna see it? The thing is, you are a gift sent by God. If this is for you, receive it. If it's not, let it go on one end out the other. You're, you're part of the light and most of your family members, I'm just saying, may be part of that darkness. So even though they will say, oh, this family sucks and we should do better, but look at their actions and not so much of what they're saying. Because they can say, oh, we need to do better. But then when you see them backbiting, gossiping, tearing other people down behind their back, smiling in one face, ganging up on other people, treating people worse than an enemy on the street would treat, treat another family member, you know? And so that doesn't add up with change. So a lot of people, they know more about toxicity and this narcissism because they watching these videos too. Your toxic family members, they watching these videos. And if you got a channel, they watching you too. And so they learning, you know, about the people walking in the light. They're, they're, these dark ones are learning how to uh, sound like us so they can pretend that they're one of us, but really they're not because you just got to look at how they do. So they like that negative stuff that go on in the family. They like the auntie that's drunk and cussing out folk and telling people they ain't nothing and going off on them. They like that. It gives them, it fulfills this emptiness within them. You know, they don't want to see anything change. So when you change, it's like, who do you think you are? Are you saying something's wrong with the family? Are you saying that I can do better? Are you saying something's wrong with me because you no longer want to come around the family functions? You won't put up with the toxic people that everybody in your family know toxic, but when you stop dealing with them, they all of a sudden confuse. Uh, why are you not dealing with that one no more? They done seen the person spit in your eye 50 times, but now they surprised why you don't deal with the person. That's that's part of the lie in the game, too. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. I'm talking to me, too, y'all, because they be lying. Anywho, so, yeah, they, they don't want to see you change because that's a poor reflection on them. Like, oh, my God, does that mean I got to change? That means something wrong with me? They know something wrong with them, but they don't want to do nothing about it. And then when you start to make the different th do different things in your life, they want to pull you back into it. Why? Because they want your whole family tree to be dysfunctional. They not about doing anything different, honey. They want you to be as miserable and stuck and demonic and oppressed as they are. They, they don't want to see the good, the God, that light that you got inside of you, they want to put that thing away. Because once you start having light, you're going to start shining that little light bulb on them when they doing some crazy foul stuff. And they don't want that, honey. They want to be in a position of that hierarchy and that control where they're casting judgment on others. But they don't want you to start saying, well, why are you treating that person like that? Why are you doing that? Why are you saying, honey, they don't want that because they feel justified in doing the things they want to do. So when you go out and start having healthy relationships, not putting up with negative stuff, you may have finished your degree, you got a family going on, you're breaking generational curses, honey, they don't like that. Because some of them have made covenants with the darkness and can't break those covenants. So they see you like, who are you? To say you not going to be in darkness and bondage just like me. You broke free, I can't break free, but instead of them praying or fasting or doing whatever they got to do to get rid of these demons or even coming to you saying hey you used to be as negative and toxic as the rest of us what did you do different how did you get out no because they think they're better than you they they're too um prideful to come to you and ask you for any help on how can they get better so these people don't want to see you change and then when you do start to make changes a lot of them gonna act like they don't see it they they gonna say oh something wrong with you Oh, you're hurting. You haven't moved past the pain. Oh, my God, you talked about it. It's not healed. It's still raw. First of all, these people don't have the qualifications to tell you anything about your mental health. 
Who, who are these people? They All of a sudden, they, they, these family members, it's so funny, they become the greatest um, psychologists. You would think they studied right under Freud himself. They're telling you about your trauma and your pain and you still, you, you've not processed it and moved on. Who the hell are you? You barely graduated from, from high school. How are you telling somebody about their mental health? You don't have the criteria. Criteria, this is part of that narcissism, y'all. These people, low level, low budget, don't have the criteria to tell you about your, they're not a spiritual coach, they're not an oracle, they're not any of these things that you would go to for your mental health and your spiritual health. Yet they place themselves like above you where they're trying to assess what's going on with you. You haven't asked for their help. You're doing your life. You're creating beautiful things. You're trying to, um, you're doing your nine to five, but you're also doing other stuff because you probably realize that ain't the long-term goal or you want to do some other stuff. Whatever it is, just your hobbies. You're living your life to the fullest, the best way you know how in these people who you've not sent for have come to you. They ain't talked to you in years, don't know your life. They just get in snippets from other people who liars and controllers and um, just totally toxic. They get in information from you, from them about you and they think they have some idea about your life which they don't they put in pieces together from facebook they finding you online they doing all kind of stuff to put something together to try to see who you are now what you got going on because they want to find that negative so they can have something to end with you so they can say um but look at this so this is my proof you're not totally healed because this and this and this I found online, or this and this and this, and somebody said this negative. You, you, you're not totally okay. You're not better than me. You're not more healed. You're not more prosperous than me. This is why they don't want you to don't want you to do any any type of um any better than them then it also if you can look at it from a, a friend point of view a lot of times your friends they of course they're not gonna tell you uh, can be jealous of you and it don't always have to be about your looks i had to get rid of that thinking they can be jealous because you have an infectious smile and other people may like that other people may gravitate to you more and it could be about looks when you walk in a room somebody may look at you before they look at your friend and that friend could feel a type of way that you could have um some type of children and your friend wants children and can't have them they could hate you for that somebody could people could be this type that give you gifts and do all kind of stuff to help you level up and have a better life and your friend is looking hmm you can be doing something creative and your friend may have wanted to do that but you did it first and now your friend is feeling a type of way these people don't want to see you do better because when you do it makes them look at themselves like hmm something wrong with me i still i'm just saying i'm gonna write that book for 20 years and i ain't done it now who is she to do it before me or I've been saying I'm gonna get married and do this and this for years and she got it before me who she thinks she is I look better than her these people can be very competitive honey and so instead of encouraging you alone like a good friend or a good family member will do and there is a few of those out there if you find them found them or if you find them god bless you <laughs> so anyway but yeah they're, they're looking at you they're competing with you your family is competing with you the friends your associates people at work these people can be competing with you and they they get offended who are you to do better who are you to think that you are something and you won't allow us to put you back back in the negative? So instead, they try to spew all this um, craziness at you, even your friends. Oh, you, you, you're still hung up on that? Oh, you're not forgiving? Oh, my good, you're angry. You're hostile. You got a lot of wrath. You got to forgive. You got to do all this. These people think they can tell you all the kind of stuff to do. And like I say, I'm just saying, and I think that even we should just get in the um, habit of telling these people to mind their own business. It's like, who are you? I mean, my level of is so high of what I look at before I take somebody's advice. Like, would I want to change lives with you? If, if you're telling me about relationships, do I see a steady relationship with that you have? Have you been married for years in a successful, thriving relationship? Or you got folks just jumping out your bed constantly, then you want to tell me about uh, rela relationships? Ugh, no, no. See, that's the kind of thing why people need to mind your bu their business and stop trying to tell you, you know, um, and, sh you know, try to put darkness over your progress. 
because then it makes you start looking at their lives and summing them up like, wow, you ain't got a healthy, steady, long-term relationships. You still a girlfriend and you trying to tell me something. You've been a girlfriend since we were 16 and you, you trying to tell somebody something about a relationship or they're trying to tell you about a career and then a career that they hate and ain't even getting the hours they want every week. They begging for 40 hours and their boss keep giving them 32 hours a week. They ain't even got health insurance and trying to tell you what you need to do with your job. Like, who asked you? you you're not even on a, on a level that I would even want to take some advice from. This one guy, Dan O'Connor, and I fo follow him. I, I like that he said, like, if people at work are trying to tell you what to do, these are not your managers. They are not over you at all. He said, like, he, he would tell them, like, um, I take my job very seriously. And I don't just allow anyone to tell me about my job. And since it's very important to me, you're not the person that I would go to for my job advice, you know. And, and that's perfectly fine to tell these people, these family and these friends who are not happy for you, honey, because they want to make you they want to make you question yourself like, oh, is something wrong with me? Did I make the wrong choice? Everybody is saying that I'm not healed. I'm bitter. I'm unforgiving. I'm this and that. I, I, I probably got to go back and do what they want. No, honey, they're just trying to pull your strings like a puppet, trying to make you do everything they want to do. Because the thing is, they just really think we're stupid. Because anybody who has a problem minding their own business when you've leveled up, they, they think they're better than you. And they're not going to come out to say it, but that's really what it is. Because if I could be so bold to call you and say, you need to forgive. You need to do this. You need to start going to this school. You need to marry this one. You need to date this one. You need to do this. You need to do this with your kids. Really, that means that they think they're smarter than you and you're dumb. Because if you were smart, you would think exactly like they do. Because they don't have any room for other ways of thinking. Everything has to be a limited in a box thinking like they think. And if you were clever and wise, you would have already done everything that they're telling you to do. No, their life doesn't have a good track record. Who cares? They're not talking about them. They're talking about you. They, 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 they somehow think that they're better than you. And they've come to correct your life. And if you can just stop being so bullheaded and stubborn and just obey and submit to master God who's standing in front of you in the form of a human who thinks they're God, if you do what they say, then you won't be so bullheaded and, and you could have a prosperous life. They're not prosperous, not by your standards, because I hope you have some standards. But if you do what they say, everything will be okay. But I'm here to tell you, you're not crazy. There's nothing wrong with you. And even if you have righteous indignation because people have constantly done you dirty and you've forgiven them over and over and over and over again and they continue to do it to stump on your heart because they may know you're empathic, you're a kind person, whatever it is, you have a right to be angry. I am not saying to allow that anger to make you stagnant where you don't fulfill your goals and that you're sitting around blaming mom and dad for the reason you can't succeed. That's crap. You may have a slower time getting there. You may have to watch more YouTube videos, get spiritual coaches, mental health services to get to where you can. But we've all had some trauma, a lot of us. And we've been able to move past it. Maybe not at the level that some people would hope for us, but we can get there. I'm a living survivor of that. And so I know you can get there too. You may get there slower, so you can't compare your life to others. But whatever you have, hug yourself now. Pat yourself on the back because, honey, you may get there 10 years late, but that don't matter as long as you get there. Stop playing by these people's time frame of when you should heal and when you should forgive and when you shouldn't be angry, honey, because they may have not experienced what you've gone through. So they can't form their lips. They can, but don't listen to them to tell you what needs to go because your trauma is not different from whatever. I mean, it's different from whatever they've gone through. But I'm here to say. Whatever feelings you have, your gut, whatever it tells you about these people and who you should deal with, who you shouldn't, it's right. If your gut is telling you to separate from these people or to go limited contact with these negative people, listen to your gut. You are not wrong. You don't need to wait for anybody else to tell you what to do with these toxic family and friends because that Holy Spirit or whatever it is that conscience has spoken to you and already let you know you're right. You're looking for confirmation from other people. Ta-da, here's 
a confirmation. You know what to do with these people. You know the progress you made. And you don't have to tell these people because they don't really care. All they want you to do is submit and bow down and admit that you're not better than them and you can't run your life and that if you just shut up and listen to them and do everything they say, your life will be well. That's all they care about. They don't care about the hurt that you've gone through. They don't care why you made the changes you made. All they want you to do is shut up, get in line, act like your family is the best, pretend that it's well so they can die a happy person knowing it was a bunch of crap and your family sucks but they don't care as long as they can be the one to be the hero da, 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 i'm saving my family ain't nobody gave you that job and god ain't gave it to you if he did you would uh, uh, um operated with more wisdom than you tried to do it do it with you know so these people are full of crap you're okay and if you're not okay, you know where you can get some help from. But you don't need these crazy, toxic people telling you anything about it. Uh, go ahead and like this video if it resonates with you. Also, share it with a friend. Leave a comment. Tell me what your thoughts are. And I want to say to you, congratulations for doing you. Keep doing you. Somebody told me that recently, and it really resonated with me. Keep doing me. Such a simple thing, and it may sound redundant. You've heard it on social media, but it's so true. Also, um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. If you would like one-on-one um, -on -one services with me, my information is down in the comment section. I am a mental health therapist. I have a PsyD in clinical psychology. I can help you work through uh, the trauma. I've, I've, on, I've been there. You know, because a lot of therapists, I don't think we've actually been trained. They're doing it more now, training on trauma, but I've still not seen a lot of training on narcissism, personality disorder. Really, I haven't seen any training all the years that I've been in the field other than reading our diagnostic manual that tells you what narcissism looks like. But really, it's so stiff how it's written. If you haven't dealt with it, you probably wouldn't be able to recognize it just reading the symptoms as it's listed in the diagnostic, the DSM-5. So yeah, um, have a good one.